Buenas tardes a todos. My respect to the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School Director, Sir Gokhan Arak, Dr. William Wilms, the school principal, heads of the departments, teachers, completers, graduates, parents, guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, again, buenas tardes. A first after two years, and it's quite really different to have the feeling of being on site, being able to rub elbows with one another and smile even with our half of our faces are, are covered. But we see the joy and beauty of everyone just by looking at the eyes. Anyway, it's always said, but the eyes are the windows to the soul. The significance of this day has been perfectly worded by Nelson Mandela's quote when he said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Indeed, it is a lifetime possession whose value is beyond compare. This year's theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering the resilience in the face of adversity echoes the motivation and encouragement for the relentless pursuit of the young learners to create change and challenge them to be real hope of our future. We all still stand together in the belief and hope as our national hero has said, Dr. Jose Rizal, that the youth is the hope of our future. As you take your steps into the new chapter of your lives, we admonish and remind you, our graduates, not to forget and appreciate the competent and dedicated teachers who worked with you, who sacrificed with you, and worked hard to equip you with that form of, with the education that you are bringing with you today. The, the survival kit in the arena outside of the four corners of this school. Most importantly, the gratefulness is important for making you realize that the world can stand aside for the determined men and that you will and can make a way even through seeming impossibilities as what we have experienced during the pandemic, the two-year pandemic that we have. We can always overcome adversities together. Aside from the dedication of the dynamic teachers shown in their heroic responsibility in molding the stunning minds and ideas and beautiful hearts of the students, we also remind you not to forget to honor your parents' sacrifice and support in attaining a quality education despite the difficulties shouldered for your sake. Graduation is a time to celebrate your achievements as a student. It is an opportunity for you to enjoy the fruit of your perseverance in completing your studies. Truly, graduation marks the beginning of your journey to a more challenging and meaningful future. Allow me to read to you an excerpt from the graduation message of our regional director, Dr. Ruth Fuentes, to the completers and graduates of Batch 2022. And I quote, Your success is an inspiration for all to continue believing in the worth and power of this generation. Your perseverance is a living testimony that not a single hard blow of any pandemic can ever shake the foundation of the Filipino learners whose values and competencies shaped your hearts and minds. The hardships you have encountered has trained you to become more efficient and skilled in life. We did not only survive the pandemic, but we also thrived and will continue to flourish 
with the lessons we learned from school and life outside the pages of the learning modules. Above all, seek to continuously improve and reinvent yourself to stand to make yourself more productive. To all completers and graduates, as you celebrate this moment, take time to remember your success with the advocates of quality education. Your teachers, your parents, the educational leaders who stand with you today in this graduation ceremony, your stakeholders, your friends, your families, they are always part of what and who you are and will become. So don't forget to, that to, have to put them in your hearts, not only in your minds. I wish to extend my heartfelt greetings and warmest congratulations to, the grad to this graduating class. It is a great pride and honor that I also congratulate the parents for their success. The success of these students are your success as well. The students are the highlights of the role of the K-12 basic education program in developing an educated society where the challenges and benefits of diversity are embraced and welcomed by every Filipino. Teachers focused on every learner to possess a healthy mind, body, essential knowledge and skills for lifelong learning, and to be globally competitive, anchored on values formation. While the home and community provide a realistic application that paves way for leadership and transformation, it is our dream to give quality education to you in forging a decent future as we build the foundation of your dreams together. We once again give our heartfelt congratulations to the graduates. Indeed, your resolute determination has borne fruits. This speaks volumes of those who made it. For all you know, your next door to success has become a step closer to you. As the English writer and 18th century literature major figure, Samuel Johnson put it, Life is not certain that you shall win, but make it certain that you shall try. After all, as our parents and teachers would repeatedly say, experience is the best teacher. As you look as you look ahead towards a bright future for yourself and your family, remember that with hard work, patience, and determination, and with the grace of our Almighty God, you will succeed, inshallah. Once again, congratulations, and as, an all, as, an, as always, in the division of Sambuanga City, we always say, nothing is impossible, believe Together we can. No hay cosa imposible. Cre, punto junto, puede. Muchísimas gracias a todos on behalf of SDS Roy Tubalia, ASDS JS Monte Alto, and the SDO family. Again, en hora buena. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Dr. Mangasar, for your wonderful words. And to further reciprocate our gratitude towards you, we would like to call on again our school director, Mr. Gokan Araj, for the presentation of token to our commencement speaker. Let me read to you the citation. Filipino Turkish Tolerance School plaque of appreciation is presented to Dr. Victoria D. Mangasar, PhD, Chief Education Supervisor, Curriculum Implementation Division. In grateful appreciation for her invaluable support and friendship rendered to the school as commencement speaker on the occasion of 2022 FTTS commencement exercises. Given this 14th day of May 2022 at Filipino Turkish Tolerance School, Sinunuk, Zamboanga City. Now for the most awaited part of our program, especially for the parents of our pupils and students who will be awarded. Let us move on to the distribution of medals and certificates of academic proficiency and special awards. It is our pleasure to recognize 
the efforts of our dear pupils and students. And so, we begin by acknowledging their academic competencies. We will start with our elementary graduates. May we call in Mr. Eunice Gunaydin, Coordinator for the Elementary Department, to hand out the awards. We would also like to encourage the parents to receive the awards with their children. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards will be read in descending order. Let me first read the description of the award before calling on the pupils who will receive it. Academic Excellence Awards for Grade 6, 10, and 12 shall be given at the end of the school year. Recipients of these awards shall have attained a general weighted average of 90 with no failing final grade in any learning area. The general average grade shall be reported as the will number following relevant provisions in Department Order 8, Series of 2015. Policy guidelines on classroom assessment for the K-12 basic education program. Academic Excellence Award given to learners who meet the following cat of grades. With highest honors, my pinakamataas na karangalan, general weighted average of 90 to 100. With honors, my mataas na karangalan, general weighted average of 95 to 97. With honors, my karangalan, general weighted average of 90 to 94. Academic Excellence Awards, Grade School, Shirin Inaya Bud with highest honors, Class Valedictorian. Sahar I. P. Head with high honors, class salutatorian. Rayand A. Mondehar with high honors. Ahmad Naive A. Monegro, with high honors. Yara Zia A. Monegro, with high honors. Malika Yahnin H. Ahajan, with high honors. Ali P. Daniel with high honors. Aisha P. Khan with high honors. Ramses P. Apang with honors. Zeva Ferdows A. Vasaludid 
with high honors. Fatima Aise A. Bahari, with honors. Umar D. Ahmadul, with honors. Fargani B. Salaain with honors. Nadine P. Abu Bakar with honors. Razan U. Asmad with honors. Henry Justin A. Ibba with honors. Congratulations, elementary graduates. Let us now move on to our senior high school graduates. May we have Ms. Siti Raiza Masbut, coordinator of the senior high school department, here on stage to award the students. Academic Excellence Award, Senior High School, Junajar D.G. Abubakar, with highest honors, Class Valedictorian. Kimberly C. Kidato, with highest honors, Class Salutatorian. Lovelyn M. Alcantara, with highest honors. Therese Pilar A. Brico with highest honors. Lantixa Dexel Kirk with high honors. Lina J. Mohammed with high honors. Marcisa A. Hamja with high honors. Ryan Juliana A. Abutazil with high honors. Fatima Tahira M. Asaali with high honors. Rivime G. Panisales with high honors. Si 
Rifaina M. Adjarail with high honors. Mega Putri S. Tumbaga with high honors. Zell Hanina B. Asda with high honors. Katrin Fatima S. Jauhari with high honors. Raizume A. Samad with high honors. Noralin R. Baloa with high honors. Muhaimin and Estino with high honors. Nuriel Aina K. Suhaili with high honors. Osama M. Bilgadil Albani with high honors. Jumana S. Mahmoud with high honors. Fatima Aurora H. Saladi with high honors. Thank you, Thank you. Axel Lance F. Fabelia with high honors. Shamira A. Bahari with honors. Ibrahim A. Dawood with honors. Amir A. Awad with honors. Yusef T. Kamlian with honors. Jamila S. Mahmoud with honors. Juliaser H. Marawi Jr. with honors.
Shadan Marti Abdul Gafar with honors. Sophia Rina J. Wahi with honors. Abdurajik Yu Abduhalim with honors. Sharif A. Patta with honors. Mahmoud T. Aha with honors. Once again, congratulations, senior high school graduates. We shall now distribute our proficiency awards in elementary department. The following proficiency awards were based on the final grade in the learning field or average of the final grades in the subjects. So, without further ado, let us call our elementary coordinator, Mr. Yunus Gunaiden, to give the proficiency awards for the elementary department. Proficiency awards. Proficiency in English. Bud Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in Filipino. Bihar Sahar I. Proficiency in Mathematics. Wood Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in Science, Bud Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in Computer, Bihar Sahar I. Proficiency in GMRC. Bud Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in Music and Art. Bud Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in Sibika. Bud Shireen Inaya H. Proficiency in PE, Bud Shireen Inaya H. Congratulations. It's now time to distribute the proficiency awards to our senior high school graduates. Let us call our senior high school coordinator, Miss Siti Raiza Masbud, to give the proficiency awards for the senior high school department. Proficiency Awards, Proficiency in Filipino, Kidato Kimberly C. Proficiency in English, Alcantara Lovelin M. Proficiency in English, Abu Bakar Junnajar DG. Proficiency in Science, 
Abu Bakar Du Najar DG. Proficiency in Mathematics, Abu Bakar Jun Najar DG. Proficiency in Mathematics, Landixe Dexelkurd A. Proficiency in Social Sciences, Kidato Kimberly C. Proficiency in Athletics, Abu Bakar Jun Najar DG. Proficiency in Arts, Abu Bakar Jun Najar DG. Proficiency in Arts, Mohammed Lina J. Proficiency in Arts. Abu Tazil, Ryan, Juliana, A. Proficiency in Arts. Adjarail, Sirifaina, M. Proficiency in Arts. Baloa, Noralin, A. Proficiency in Arts, Hamja Marcisa A. Proficiency in Arts, Praiko Tiris Pilar A. Proficiency in Arts, Tumbaga Mega Putri S. And now, let us recognize the owners of our special awards. Firstly, Loyalty Award. A Loyalty Award is granted to graduates who have attained a certain number of years of continuous and consistent devotion to FTDS. Elementary graduates who stayed at FTDS for six years will be awarded a gold medal. For senior high school graduates who stayed for 12 to 14 years will be awarded a gold medal. 10 to 11 years, silver. 8 to 9 years, bronze medal. Let us all welcome Ms. Jenna Rose Villanueva and Ms. Fatima Payao, the class advisors of the elementary graduates, to hand out the loyalty awards. Loyalty awards, gold medal from the grade school, Abu Bakar Nadine P. Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Fatima Aise A. Bahari. Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Basaludin Zeba Ferdows A. Loyalty Award, Gold Medallion, Bud Shirin Inaya H.
Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Ibba Henry Justin A. Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Pihat Sahar I. Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Salaain Fargani B. Loyalty Award Gold Medallion, Tutu Nafar S. It's now the turn of the senior high school graduates. Let us welcome Ms. Ardelin Ambutong to give the loyalty awards for the senior high school department. Loyalty awards, gold medallion, Abutazil Ryan Juliana A. Loyalty awards, gold medallion. Dawood Ibrahim A. Loyalty Awards, Gold Medallion, Ibrahim Fatima Alia S. Loyalty Awards, Gold Medallion, Jauhari Katri. Fatima S. Loyalty Awards, Gold Medallion, Marawi Julius Jr. H. Loyalty Awards, Gold Medallion. Vanisales Rivime G. Loyalty Awards, Gold Medallion, Suhaili Noriel Aina K. Loyalty Awards, Silver Medal, Kamlian Yusef T. Loyalty Awards, Silver Medal, Estino Mohaimin N. Residency Award. Residency Award, Senior High School, Abu Bakar Absherdin DG. Residency Awardee, Abu Bakar Jun Najor DG. Residency Awardee, Adjarail Sirifaina M. Residency Awardee, Ahang Mahmud T. Residency Awardee, Bahari Shamira A. Residency Awardee, Baloa Noralin R. Residency Awardee, Hamja Marcisa A. Residency Awardee, 
Hataman Mohammed Ilyan S. Residency Awardee, Praiko Therese Pilar A. Residency Awardee, Kidato Kimberly C. Residency Awardee, Salasa Al Adil Tristan A. Residency Awardee, Saluan R. Arif A. Residency Awardee, Subman Riza May A. Residency Awardee, Tumbaga Mega Putri S. Residency Awardee, Uga Dato Muhammad Gausul Azam S. Residency Awardee, Wahi Sofia Rina J. The Leadership Award is given to learners in grades 12 who have demonstrated exemplary skills in motivating others and organizing projects that have significantly contributed to the betterment of the school and our community. This award is given during the completion or graduation ceremony. To qualify for this award, a learner must first have no failing grades in any of the learning areas. Second, have not committed any offense punishable by suspension or higher sanction according to the department, department service manual and child protection policies in the current school year. Third, be a class officer or an active member or officer of any recognized school club, team, or organization. The following are the criteria for the Leadership Award. First, motivational skills with 40%. Second, planning and organizational skills with 40%. Third, Contribution to the school and our community with 20%, having a total of 100%. Let us welcome again the class advisor of senior high school graduates to give the leadership award for the senior high school department. And let us now call the recipient of the leadership award, Junajar D.G. Abubakar. Congratulations.
as official graduates of this prestigious school, Batch 2022 is now considered as official alumni with new duties and responsibilities. May we call in Lovelyn Alcantara, Senior High School's third highest honor to lead our graduates in their class pledge. Please rise. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. In cognizance of the wholesome education, the high aims and noble principles that the Filipino-Turkish Tolerance School has afforded me as a graduate of this prestigious institution I solemnly swear to manifest my loyalty to my alma mater and pledge to use my knowledge and skills to render an honest and noble and fruitful service to my country and fellow men, to the best of my ability. A very special tradition has been long observed here in the Filipino Turkish Tolerance School. A symbolic act of farewell as well as signal to a new start of our graduates. Our valedictorians, both in elementary and senior high school, shall be leaving their inscriptions on the FTDS Log of Excellence. May we call in Shirin Inaya H. Bood of the Elementary Graduates and Junya Jor Abubakar of the Senior High School Graduates to do the honors. of triumph and victory from our batch valedictorians. Ladies and gentlemen, let us first have Shirin Inaya H. Bood, the valedictorian of the elementary department, up here on the stage for her speech. Our honored guests, school administrators and staff, dear teachers, our beloved parents, my fellow graduates. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakat. A beautiful and pleasant evening to one and all. Today's momentous occasion highlights another significant development stage in the lives of graduating pupils like us. Having successfully hurdled the completion of the six long years of basic education under the K-12 program. Alhamdulillah. We now possess the necessary preparations to move forward one step higher in our continuing quest to attain the highest level of educational attainment possible. Our graduation theme, K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity is indeed a timely realization that while everybody has a dream, the ultimate fulfillment of one's dream requires strong determination and strenuous efforts in the face of many challenges and difficulties. True to the dictum that education is the only way left to help people, 
in pursuing their dreams and achieving their goals. And so, despite of the misfortunes and difficulties brought about by the current health crisis and the educational crisis as well, we remain resolute and resilient. Eventually, we emerge on top of the situation, overcoming several disappointments and trials. Through our determination to remain steadfast in our academic progress. If anything significant, it is the exemplified certainty of our capability and capacity to cope with whatever trials and challenges that came along our way, such that the current pandemic did not in any way destroy our spirits and talents, but merely diverted them into new pursuits and learning experiences. Among others, we learned that family and friendship endure while in the confinement of studying at home as we approach them to ask for information and assistance regarding our lessons and modules. We learn something new and amazing knowledge while being dependent on the internet, Wi-Fi and electronic gadgets by getting the most out of technology. We learn alone and we also learn together. The opportunity to level off with the best among the class is open and competitive, depending on our level of creativity and resource resourcefulness to answer assignments and submit requirements. It is said that Graduation is a life event that cannot be overshadowed, nor it can be forgotten. And so today, we all proudly stand here as FTTS elementary graduates of class 20, 2022. Lucky to be healthy and safe despite all adversities confronting us in our quest for continuing education. Also today, we celebrate not only what each of us has become, but as to what each of us will become in the future, inshallah. Indeed, Allah has better plans for all of us. For be that as it may, all the positive things that took shape in the midst of this pandemic taught us that only those who bear patience and perseverance will emerge victorious in times of trials and adversities. In closing, I would like to thank our teachers, our beloved parents, classmates, friends, and other people who, in one way or another, helped and inspired us all in our successful endeavors. Thank you all, and may the unbounded mercy and blessings of the Almighty Allah be with each and every one of us, as always. Now let us have Juna Joy Abu Bakar, the Class Valedictorian of the Senior High School Department, up here on stage for his speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. By the name of God, the most gracious and the most merciful. To our dear school director, Sir Gokan Arach. To our ever enthusiastic school principal, Mr. William D. Welms. To our commencement speaker, Dr. Victoria D. Manasser. The school administrators, staff, dear parents, friends, guests, and to my fellow graduating students, Assalamu Alaikum. Greetings of peace and prosperity to all of you. Standing and speaking before you is Jun Najar Abu Bakar, 
And behind this title of being the class valedictorian is another young dreamer, a seeker of wisdom, a son, a brother, a friend, and a fallible human being. It is an honor for me to deliver this speech in front of you today. Today's graduation ceremony is different from the previous couple of years. By the grace of God, Alhamdulillah, we are able to conduct this graduation ceremony live and face to face. The empty bleachers and spaces between us may seem saddening. However, it also signifies hope that things are slowly going back to normal. Years have already passed since the first time we entered through the gates of FTTS. And for some, it may be 14 years, 12, or maybe 6. For some, maybe a couple or a few days. And now, this day marks our official exit from this institution, our beloved Filipino Turkish Tolerance School. Yet, we are indeed proud and exalted to be in this graduation despite the different situations we've been through during the past years. March 13, 2020. The skies were bright and the sun was actually shining. Yet no one expected it to be the last day that we would be meeting one another for a while. In fact, we were delighted with the Dalawang Linggong Walang Pasok, di ba? But from that moment on, the sheets of the calendar seemed to flip endlessly. Those weeks turned to months and eventually years. Years. And during those times, as we all know, we were forced to shift from traditional learning to this unfamiliar setup. And every one of us, including teachers and parents, had to go through the struggle of adapting and adjusting to this online learning. And for the majority, it was difficult. Today, I want to share something. SKL, share ko lang. Unahan ko na kayo, guys. And during the first year of the online class, which was when we were in grade 11, I attended my classes from home. Well, that may sound pretty normal, but the struggle I would say is that our neighborhood is malayo sa kabihasnan, which means that our neighborhood has a painfully, painfully weak internet connection. Our neighborhood's internet service has always been this way, and it has gotten even worse nowadays. In fact, I must first climb up to the highest part of our house, which is not so high, just to get a bar of reception. Just a bar of reception. Just to hear that thing from a messenger notification only to find out that my assignment was actually due an hour ago. When your, teacher, when your teacher is in the middle of a lecture, and at the time the teacher was about to say the most important thing, suddenly you got disconnected before being able to listen to it. And when you feel ashamed to tell your teacher that you're sorry for missing the class or for getting disconnected, even though it's true that the internet connection was to blame, but you just feel ashamed to say it because of how many times you've said it before, and now saying the same thing might come out as a lie. And you know that feeling of having your task ready to be submitted. And that point where you are ready to submit, where, where you are ready to click submit, yet that's also the time when the electric power shuts off and you're like, seriously? Or maybe you're using mobile data, no? And at that point, magugulat ka na lang 8080 sent you a message saying, Naku ka TM, nag-expire na yung mobile internet promo. And again, you're like, well, this was my situation for that year. And I'm sure most, if not some of you, can relate to that. However, in January of 2021, we were struck by a flood. The flood was so high that it almost surmounted me, and I'm not exaggerating here. And with this flood, the only Wi-Fi tower where we used to connect our devices during online classes. The only Wi-Fi tower, the tower which served as the final string of hope to attend the online class, was severely damaged. And that's when we decided to rent a boarding house 
where I can attend my classes from. I thought online classes would only get better from that moment onwards. And I was actually delighted when I first got there that the internet connection was so strong and so fast. Yet ironically, the struggle didn't end there. It didn't. And I was forced. I was forced to go for a 20-minute ride just to attend my online classes. And I was forced to experience stress and hassle and going back and forth because no one can watch over the house if I choose to just stay the night. Running late in classes because there is no tricycle available. Running late in classes because I forgot to wash the, sh the dishes I left from yesterday's dinner. And it was exhausting. It really was. And it's kind of ironic though that we were supposed to stay at our homes in this online class. Yet here I am, battling with uncertainty of what could possibly happen. Taking a step forward towards a future nobody was ever promised with. And I am sure, I am sure that this story, my story, is just one of the thousands, if not millions, of stories of our fellow students, elementary, high school, senior high school, and college, who struggled and went through similar circumstances, and for some, even worse. My story is just one of the stories of students who did their best to adjust, to comply, to continue moving forward, and to continue to hope for the best, despite how dark the world seemed. I am not here to tell you how horrible and devastating my situation was, or how amazing I am for getting through all of those. Rather, I am here to acknowledge and to recognize that all of us, all of us had a hard time coping and adjusting. That every single one of us here reached a point where our thoughts seemed to paralyze us. That we wondered to ourselves, Kaya pa ba? O makakagrad ta kaya ako? I am standing here not as the best man of the class, rather as a representative. A representative for those who continued to move forward, despite how endless the uncertainty was. I am here to tell you that your unspoken stories and struggles are valid. They are valid. Even if nobody else seems to recognize it from me. And you should be proud of yourself. That is why, before anyone else, let us congratulate ourselves, not just for gaining academic awards, but for the effort, the hard work, the eye bugs, and the tears that we shed to reach this point. Let us give ourselves a big round of applause, please. I would like to emphasize that this graduation ceremony is not just for the students who garnered awards and academic distinctions. Rather, for every hardworking and brave student who accepted the challenge of faith and eventually reached this point. We stumbled upon different hurdles. A blinding boulder sealed our way, but we managed to find our way out. We managed to fight for our future. Congratulations to us, Batch 2022. And of course, I will not end this speech without thanking everyone, everyone who supported me in this journey. I would like to thank first and foremost God, Alhamdulillah, for giving me the capability, the strength to start, to continue, and to end this high school journey. To my family, who supported me in every step I took. To my ambo, and to my father, who continuously supported me from behind and from all directions. You're the best. Without them, malamang saan ako ngayon, ba? Thank you so much, ambo and pa. And to my sister, who constantly encourages and gives me advice on how to be a better student and a better human being. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zai. And to my friends who are here to support me, Mike, Kan, We, Jasmine, Kamusta kayo dyan? Haidil, Denzel, Abikail. Thank you so much for making my years here in Tolerance more fun and memorable. To Congressman Abdullah Dimaporo, of course. 
who endlessly supported Delano scholars from the very beginning of this journey. Without him, we would not be here in FTTS in the very first place. I wouldn't have learned how to be independent. And of course, I wouldn't be here standing in front of you. Thank you so much, Daddy Kong. And to our beloved advisors, Mr. Alim Kochak, who was with us for five years, Mam Ma Ardilin Ambutong, who just recently joined us in the family, yet endlessly supported us to finish this journey with a smile on our faces. To Mam Ma Rasi Mekayesh, who became our first mom in this institution. To Mam Ma Jenna Rose Fernandez and Mam Ma Kisma Ahang. And to every teacher we had from grade 7 to, till grade 12 who fervently taught us wisdom and to everyone who helped us grow and learn. Thank you, thank you so much, teachers. May God bless you for your hard work and effort to instill knowledge in us. And of course, to the batch 2022, Ruji, hi you guys! Thank you so much for all the beautiful memories and moments we shared together. This may be the end of this chapter of our lives, but we can always write another one. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the best in life. Assalamu alaikum. Again, thank you, Shireen and Junajar, for staying strong and representing your batch this year. Your accomplishments are truly remarkable and worth celebrating. For the unconditional love of their parents as well as the undying support of their teachers, the graduates of Batch 2022 will now sing their dedication song, Glowing Inside, to show how much they value all the people who helped them each to reach this day. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates! marks the graduates enlistment of the Turkish Tolerance School's Alumni Association to officiate the formal induction of batch 2022's inclusion to the Alumni Association may I call on the president of FTTS Alumni Association Mr. Omar Alpasain uh, all senior high school please rise Kindly raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. An alumnus or alumna of Filipino Turkish Tolerance School. Do solemnly swear that I will support my alma mater by maintaining my loyalty and devotion towards its high aims and noble principles that defeat a true child of tolerance that I will use my training for the betterment of my community. In the service of my country, 
over and above my personal aims. That I will endeavor at all times to bring honor and glory to my alma mater by uplifting myself to higher social and moral levels that I will uphold the purpose of my alma mater's founding which is to help bring about enlightenment to every family in our city and country without fear or shame. And that I impose this obligation upon myself voluntarily without mental reservation and purpose of evasion. So help me God. So as the president of the Alumni Association, I welcome you all to the alumni community and good luck on your journey. We are now nearing the end of our program but before we get there, let us have our graduates express their love for their school, their second home for the past years, by singing the FTDS hymn, and this is to be followed by their farewell song, The Call. Let us all welcome once again the graduates. With joy our hearts burn bright, our eyes aglow with pride, our voices echo loud as one for our dear Filipino Turkish tolerant school. We hold her banner high, a symbol of her zeal, to train the youth and welcome all of diverse culture and faith. Oh, Tolerant school, as your noble name resounds, your sons march in peace and unity to our love, concern, love, concern, and success. Meet your goal is excellence. Young eager minds who mold in science and math, technology. Thank you, dear Filipino Turkish tolerant school. Oh, hail, oh, hail, hail to Filipino Turkish tolerant school. As your noble name resounds. Your sons march in peace and duty free to our love, concern, love, concern, and success meet. Filipino Turkish tolerance school.
to officially end this memorable program, let us call on the stage Sahar I. Pihad, the class salutatorian of elementary graduates, to deliver the closing remarks. To our school director, Mr. Gokan Arach, school principal, Mr. William Wells, grade school coordinator, Mr. Yunus Kunaiden, my fellow classmates, friends, Parents, teachers, I, Sahar Pihad, would like to say thank you to all of you. Friends and classmates, as we close the door on one chapter of our lives and prepare to take on the next, I dare you to continue believe in ourselves and continue to dream high. This is not the end, but this is just the beginning. As we close the end of this chapter, in our lives, we will unfold a new one. New goals, new friends, new classmates, new teachers, and new challenges. So let's never stop learning. Be the best version of yourself in everything you do and be proud of who you are. Never forget to love yourself and embrace your flaws. I remembered the first math competition I participated in, which I failed to win, and it was the saddest time for me. But luckily, I have an auntie and a mom who really were there to cheer me up, until I continued to believe in myself and put Allah in the center of my life. From there on, I won every competition I participated in. I am so blessed because Allah gave me such wonderful auntie and mother. I may not be able to experience what life is like with a father, but they never let me feel that way. Because their love for me is enough to be the person that I am today. Not until I came into our lives and I'm thankful for that. I never have any grudges towards my father and I want you to know that mom, I promise to you that I will do my best to make you proud. No matter what, you are the best mom for me. I love you. On behalf of all the graduates, let me take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all the people behind our success. Thank you to my kinder teachers, Mrs. Suryate Abdul Gafar and Mrs. Crystal Jane Alviar, for guiding me when my aunt and my mom weren't around. And to all my classmates and teachers who helped me to achieve this milestone, thank you. I am so glad we really made this far despite of the pandemic. We showed to everyone how strong we were even on our own. To strive more and adapt this new normal so that no one would left behind. Once again, I am Sahar Pihad, your salutatorian batch 2021-2022, saying, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Thank you. Thank you, Sahar. Finally, we have reached the conclusion of this glorious day. Once again, congratulations, graduates. The closing hour has finally arrived. Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await to our graduates that will further test their mettle as improving individuals. As they continue with their journey, may they look back to this stage in their life with fondness and pride. On behalf of the school's administrative staff and faculty, we joyfully congratulate the graduates their parents and advisors. We sincerely thank our special guests, admin and teaching staff, our dearest parents, our guardians for attending today's affair. Most importantly, we thank our graduates as well and we wish you a prosperous life from today onwards. God bless us all. Thank you very much and mabuhay! Yours truly, Miss Fatima and Janata here. Mr. Abdul Jim Hadil, Masters, Masters of Ceremonies.